This is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only, just David. And it is time. I have been stalked. I have been accosted. I have never gotten so many DMs in my life asking me what my thoughts are on the RHONJ trailer. And I have put it off because we have had RHOBH, Reunion, Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3, where we have a huge a nothing a burger. Now, here's the good news. For everybody on Patreon, I am not breaking down RHONJ when the season comes back and talking about the Sarge and the animal Teresa and Melissa G, Messy G, anywhere but here on Patreon. So... For everyone who's here, guess what? We're going to have fun this RHONJ season. If you don't want to watch, you don't have to watch because I will be handling it all right here. And if you don't want to watch, I can't blame you. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this trailer. We're going to go through it minute by minute. I don't know. Listen to me. I am cautiously optimistic about this season of New Jersey. I overall don't think the trailer looked great, but I'm happy we're going to see a season that's not Melissa versus Teresa. And so I am very, very cautiously optimistic. You know, we start with the ass shots. We're doing shots out of someone's ass and all the partying. And I feel like Look, first of all, it's really obvious what you're trying to do. You're trying to distract us that the last time we saw this group of animals, they were tearing each other apart. And Teresa looked at Melissa and said, Melissa with her, that blue hood, Teresa and that yellow dress and said, well, we'll never see you here again, bitch. Guess what, Trey? I got it. I, and by the way, we're also going to talk about Louie and Trey. They were in my backyard. I almost fucking ran into them the other night. Okay. In here, in Beverly Hills. True story. Well, actually, it was West Hollywood. We'll get into that in a second. They were just out here, so I got some things to say about that. Oh, Louie, 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 for everybody who thinks I'm a tree hugger, trust me, I got some things to say this week about Louie and Trey. Um, It's so much, you know how easy it is when you just don't have a side you're not a podcast on the take that's being paid. You're not. There's no teams here. Ah, it's like life is so glorious. There's no more Sarge in my ear. I chose team behind the velvet rope and I chose all of you. It's nothing new, but I just, I can't. Guys, the stuff that goes on behind the scenes that I am privy to between some of these podcasts and accounts and Teresa and Melissa, I, I literally would not have enough time in the day. I wake up and it's like, do you want to interview this person? Yeah, I do. And now it's fucking 12 more hours of my life and work. So I just don't have the time. More power to everyone. No shade, but it's so beautiful when you could just be a fucking flip flopper. That's called life. So... We're going to get into Louie and Trey. And I, literally, they were at the same place I was for dinner the other night. And I swear, I think this guy would come up to me if I ran into him. So we'll get into that in a few minutes. But I feel all of this parting, I feel like it's so obvious what you're trying to do. You're trying to basically say to us, oh, we're not going to be toxic. Margaret's not going to be calling, you know, a private investigators on Louie. And Louie's not going to have private investigators. And family drama and deceased parents who would turn over in their grave if a brother and sister weren't speaking and we're going to lighten it up, right? Well, I guess nice try. None of us forgot what happened, but good try. I don't really, I'm not into all the partying down at the Jersey Shore. I've kind of seen that. It's not really my scene. Uh, one of the most interesting, I'm telling you right now, the mo there's two interesting things that I find about this season. This one might shock you. The Messler, the Messler, look, this is why I think, I think Jen Fessler is why. Well, look, I think Jen Fessler got a second season because we didn't know what to do with New Jersey. So it was just easier to bring everybody back. Remember I said it was Messy G's last season. Everyone's been DMing me. You were right. You were just off by a season. It's the last season for Messy G and the Saj. I don't know about that, guys. Let's let's see what happens. But 
Um, so I think you can't let one person go, but Messler being back for me is the same reason I think Anna Marie is being back. Although I think we could replace Anna Marie with Hilton. Um, I think that's, what's going to actually happen, but, um, Messler, she's, uh, she got a second season and I find her interesting. That scene where Marge is like, this is who you want to be friends with. And she's like, yeah, I do. So I love, although they were all out last night at some movie premiere, Fessler, Jackie, Cabral, Marge, Dolores, these people will go to the opening of an envelope. Although for the record, I like Jackie a lot and I like Messler a lot. Love both of them. So I think Messler is like the dark horse to watch. I just find her interesting, almost like a new housewife because I really just didn't pay attention to her at all last year. Sorry, Jen. But, you know, we had the two newbies. We had everything going on with Teresa. So I think, uh, I think Messler is like, welcome to the party. The Messler. I like her. I like the woman. She's, I'm more excited about her than anything else, to be honest with you. Um, Antonia leaves for college. Look, we show Gabriella going away. We show Gina's story. We minus, we grew up with Antonia too. Come on, tree stubs. Come on. Uh, tree huggers. Um, Tree stomps, tree huggers. It's all the same thing. You guys, I think you're all starting to find out that your queen, she don't give a fuck about nobody, Teresa. Nobody. This one, that one, having dinner. Unless Teresa cares about Teresa. You know this. You know this, guys. But so I think it's good that we see Antonia leaving. Then we see the one, the only juicy. Our little Juicy is back to wish Gabriella University of Michigan. That's a good school. Honestly, it's a good school. You know what I'm saying? Great for Delaware. Great for Rutgers. No shade. But University of Michigan is really a good school. Like, it's up there. Like, and the second tier right under the uh, I, the Ivy. So good for her. This girl's smart. Um, should we get Juicy back behind the velvet rope? Last year, my favorite interview of the year was probably the Juicer. I loved the Juicer. Loved him. Loved. The heart wants what the heart wants. Two years before, it was probably Razzy. Remember that Carol Raswell three-part, three-hour interview? Man, I should just sell this fucking podcast one day. Somebody come and buy this thing so I don't have to die at the microphone. But um, should we get Juicy back? Weigh in on the comments below. Should we get Juicy back behind the velvet rope? We can. It's just a phone call. Should we get the Juicer back? Check in with the Juicer. Um, so love seeing him. Now we learn that Paulie is still married and Dolores says, I don't know about the future with you anymore. I'm to be honest, I don't care about this story. No offense to anyone. I don't care. I'm bored. I don't care if Polly's not married. Dolores is not going to leave Polly. I'm sorry. I'm being honest. Sorry, Dolores. I mean, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Why should I sit here and come after the Sarge? Dolores is exempt from my criticism. 